As Jesus' mother, Mary, I felt like what I had just witnessed was a horrible nightmare. I followed my son out of Pilate's courtyard. After Pilate released Jesus to the crowd, they stripped him, put a scarlet robe on him, and twisted a crown of thorns that they put on his head. They put a staff in his right hand and knelt in front of him and mocking him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! Then they took the stick from him and began to beat him on the head again and again. They spat on him and continued to shout insults at him. It was terrible to hear them mock my son. I could not watch as they beat him. He did nothing to deserve such brutal treatment. You could tell he was in excruciating pain, but he did not complain. After they mocked him, they put him on his clothes and led him away to be crucified. I don't know how they expected Jesus to carry his own cross. He could barely walk on his own, let alone carry a heavy wooden cross. By now he was bleeding from all the beatings, weak from not eating, and he had to be discouraged by all the mockery and torments being shouted at him. They asked Simon to carry his cross for him. I followed behind the crowd with the other women who had been with him throughout his ministry. We were in total amazement that this was really happening. I'm filled with grief and disbelief that they are actually going to crucify my innocent son. What is the real reason why Jesus was punished on the cross until he died? Do you know? We know that when we are punished by our parents, it's because we've done something wrong. So as a result, we have to experience the uncomfortable and painful punishment that dad or mom gives us. But that's because we deserve to be punished. The Bible, however, tells us that Jesus never did anything wrong. Jesus never lied. Jesus never disobeyed. Jesus was never selfish. He never did anything wrong. The wrong things we say, the wrong things we do, the wrong things we think, God calls them sin. But Jesus never, ever sinned. He was perfect. And because of that, he did not deserve to be punished. The reason that Jesus was punished on the cross until he died was because each of us are sinful. In other words, Jesus was willing to be punished for our sin. He was willing to take our punishment for us. Because God is holy, he has to punish our sin. But because he loves us, Jesus volunteered to receive our punishment instead of us or in our place. And Jesus suffered. He suffered terrible, horrible pain for us when he died for us on the cross. 1 Peter 3.18 says that Jesus suffered this death for us, him being righteous for we who are unrighteous, so that he might bring us to God to be forgiven, having been put to death in his own body, but made alive again by the Spirit. I'm so happy that Jesus was willing to be punished for my sin. And I asked Jesus to forgive me and be my Savior when I was five years old. My wife Cindy asked Jesus to be her Savior and forgive her of her sin when she was seven years old. I wonder, have you ever asked Jesus to be your Savior? You can. And have you thanked Jesus for receiving your punishment for your sin? You can give him thanks. I hope you will.